In the late Edo period, Japan experienced a series of devastating earthquakes known as the Ansei Great Earthquakes, occurring between 1854 and 1855. These earthquakes struck multiple regions, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. But amidst the chaos and sorrow, there is a lesser known, yet hauntingly beautiful story that emerged from this tragedy. One that has been passed down through the generations as a testament to nature's power and mystery. In a small fishing village along the coast, nestled beneath the shadow of a great mountain. Life had always revolved around the sea. The villagers lived simple lives, fishing at dawn and returning with their boats laden with the ocean's bounty. But on November 11th, 1855, everything changed. The night before the great earthquake struck, the villagers noticed something unusual. An eerie stillness in the air. The normally tranquil waters were as smooth as glass, and the birds which usually filled the skies at dusk were nowhere to be seen. As the sun began to set, it did so in a blaze of red, unlike anything the villagers had ever witnessed. The sky turned crimson casting a surreal light over the village and the surrounding landscapes. It was as if the heavens were warning of the impending disaster.
That night, a powerful earthquake shook the region. The sea, which had been so calm just hours before, roared to life, sending massive waves crashing onto the shore. Many of the villagers' homes were destroyed, and the once peaceful fishing boats were scattered like toys by the violent waters. But amid the devastation, there was one hauntingly beautiful sight that left the villagers in awe. A single fishing boat was floating silently in the bay, untouched by the chaos that had surrounded it. The boat belonged to an old fisherman who had gone out to sea the previous morning and had not returned. His fate was never discovered, and the boat now an eerie symbol of the night before, was revered as a supernatural sign. The crimson light, which had illuminated the sky and the great mountain beyond, became a symbol of both loss and resilience, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming disaster, moments of profound meaning can emerge, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of those who bear witness. In this painting, I've chosen to render it almost entirely in monochromatic tones, with only the sun in red. This is meant to evoke the mood of the story. The stillness before the storm. The eerie calm that precedes disaster. The shades of grey represent the timelessness of the landscape. the unchanging nature of the mountain and the sea, while the red sun serves as a powerful reminder of that night when this land cried out in anguish. The contrast between the monochrome tones and the red sun 
symbolize the power of the human spirit. Standing out, even in the darkest of times, in this painting, I hope to capture a moment in history and the deep emotional resonance that comes with honoring the past.